for many. The most moving words in the powerful movie, The Passion of the Christ, La Passion del Cristo, esa película, son una frase que no escuchamos del Evangelio. Some of the most powerful words from that movie don't come from the gospel. Jesus is not reported to have said these words, but once you hear them in the context, you just know that they fit. Let me just set the scene for you. Jesus is carrying his cross. He has been beaten, scourged. A crown of thorns has been placed on his head. As he stumbles forward under the weight of the cross, esta cruz tan pesada, his mother fights her way through the crowd. Su madre viene. No one shared in Christ's saving work as closely as she did from the moment she said her yes to the angel. When Jesus sees her, there is a momentary communication of love transmitted by their eyes. But when Jesus speaks, he says to her, Behold, I make all things new. Mira, hago nuevas todas las cosas. What? A dying man, helpless, humiliated, jeered, beaten, soon to be hung on a cross until his last breath. Como puede ser un momento para esperanza? How could this be a moment for hope? How could this be a moment for vision? What good could come from this apparent victory of evil? Even a psychotic person in the height of their delusion would not be thinking that something new and wonderful was about to happen. But Jesus looks at his grieving mother, grieving yet she is somehow still hope-filled. He looks at her squarely in the eyes and says, Behold, I make all things new. You might be wondering at this point, why on this fifth Sunday of Easter, I'm speaking to you about the passion of Christ. Well, it's, it's this haunting, wonderful line. We heard it today in the context in which it originally came to us from the book of Revelation. It is originally found toward the conclusion of this incredible vision of John that we often find so hard to understand. Allow me to give you some context. This letter of John, esta, esta carta de Juan, la revelación, apocalipsis, was written toward the end of the first century. It was a time of great persecution both by the established religious leaders of the time and the Roman Empire. Es una gran persecución de la iglesia. Christians were living in great fear. Even members of the nobility were losing their homes and property and people from all over the empire were being killed for mere sport. John wrote this book using symbolic language to give the people assurance about the inner workings of history, assuring them that as bad as things might seem, even as they faced torture and death, 
they should not give up. No deben perder su esperanza en medio de cualquier prueba que experimenten. God, the Lord of history, el Señor de la historia, todavía está trabajando. Justice will be restored. The evildoers will not win in the end. Those who remain faithful will see the victory of God. Sí, los que continúan en la esperanza en medio de cualquier prueba va a haber su victoria. We see a similar faith and hope that boy Paul and Barnabas in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles as they encounter trial after trial in their missionary journey. They are beaten, stoned, rejected. But as they move on, they encounter the new communities they've formed. And they leave them with a simple, straightforward message. It is necessary for us to undergo many trials to enter the kingdom of God. Es necesario sufrir si queremos entrar en el reino de Dios. Si esta es la verdad, podemos entender por qué es tan difícil para nosotros que viven aquí en este país, especialmente los que tienen dinero y cosas, a ser un cristiano verdadero. It is for this reason that we can say it is so difficult for a person who lives in this country, especially one who's been blessed with material things, to truly be a Christian. Because if they don't know the cross, they cannot know the victory. Si piensen que tienen control de todo lo que pasa en su vida, o deben tener control, no tienen ninguna razón para poner su confianza en el Señor. That is why as I will be saying a, a little further after this Mass, I think the poor, and particularly people on the move, migrants, have a great deal to teach all of us. More than that. They can be our leaders if we hope to ourselves be people of faith. Whoever put those words, behold, I make all things new. And the lips of Jesus during his passion has grasped something that we present day Christians have often failed to understand. Nosotros el día de hoy no entendemos esta verdad. The enduring faith and hope of Christianity is not based upon an assurance of an easy life. Si quiere ser un cristiano, no anticipa una vida de lujuria. No es parte de la promesa de Cristo en ningún parte del Evangelio. It is based upon a vision that sees the assurance of the morning of resurrection after the dark night of the passion. Es en la fe verdadera que podemos ver 
aún en medio de nuestros sufrimientos, la luz de la mañana de la resurrección. It is based upon a hope that sees the power of a loving God to bring good even out of evil. El domingo de la Pascua nunca puede estar valorado sin el Viernes Santo. Easter Sunday can never be understood without Good Friday. And we should never go through our own personal Good Fridays without keeping our eyes fixed upon all that will surely happen on our Easter morning. Behold, I make all things new. Mira, hago nuevas, to nuevas todas las cosas. Amén.